All right, so what we have here is the OBD1 engine simulator. And as we can see, the knobs are kind of strategically positioned for doing the type of testing that we're trying to do. But if you're starting from scratch, I'll walk you through it. So first thing we're going to do is unplug the unit, turn all the knobs to their home positions. We'll leave the RPM knob where it is. The manifold pressure knob needs to be up about a quarter of the way, pointed left. This indicates that you're not all the way in vacuum mode where the injector is shut off because it thinks you're, you know, in a high gear and or a low gear and high RPM, high vacuum, injector shut off, those sorts of things. Throttle position, you also want to have off of its lowest position up into about the same position as the manifold pressure. Uh, same sort of deal when you're at a really low throttle position. It thinks the throttle plate is closed. No reason to have the injectors fire. Um, air fuel ratio really doesn't matter because in the test ROM that's included with the chip, it, um, it, the oxygen sensor input is disabled anyway, so really it doesn't matter. The coolant temperature um, has a resistor that sets the bounds on the resistance seen by the ECU uh, into something that would be normal. So all the way on zero is going to be somewhere you know below freezing, but not you know astronomically low. However, when we turn it all the way to the top, it pegs out at about 188 degrees Fahrenheit, which is somewhere around normal operating temperature for a Honda. On the intake air temperature, um, it has the same sort of um, same sort of function that interprets the resistance into a uh, into a temperature. But generally speaking, your intake temperature is going to be a little bit lower than your coolant temperature. So for the intake temperature, about three o'clock or so is going to be about 90 degrees, which is pretty uh, pretty normal for your average uh, intake air temp. So that is a good way to start with, uh, with the simulator. So let's say that you just chipped your ECU and you're thinking to yourself, okay, I want to know if the, you know, if the VTAC works in all of this. Let's like, say it was a PO6 to P28 conversion. You added all the stuff to do the conversion. You're like, I want to know if I did a good job. Okay. So we plug it in. The first thing we're going to do is turn the RPM up slightly. When we do this, we'll see all four injectors fire simultaneously like they just did. And then you can see, and this is about the slowest you can get it, your coil light flashing, one for each injector fire, and then you can see your 1, 3, 4, 2 uh, firing order happening on the injectors. Still rather quickly, but it's about the slowest you're going to be able to get it. So we could start cranking this up, and we'll see that the, uh, the firing order starts becoming not really noticeable by the human eye. Well, now that we've got all these other knobs set, all we really have to do to check the VTEC is just turn the RPMs up. So we're going to turn this up. And the bit bright orange light that just turned on is the VTEC light. And if we want to make sure VTEC is going to go back off, oh, we just lower the RPMs. No big deal. Um, another thing that's really interesting to be able to check out on this is just the characteristics of, uh, of how the engine computer is programmed. So let's turn the RPMs up. And we've got a VTEC. And let's say we want to make the uh, injectors brighter. We want to see some more duty cycle on those LEDs. We just turn this manifold pressure up. And notice how those LEDs just get brighter with this, with this RPM. That's because you're effectively spitting more fuel with the brightness of the LEDs. Something else rather interesting to note is the effect of rapidly turning the throttle position. The uh, ECU has built-in uh, throttle tip in so if you turn this rapidly forward, you'll notice that the LEDs will brighten up just for like the sudden burst of fuel, but then they'll just dim out rather quickly after that. So I don't know if you caught it. Watch. You definitely see it at that time. Kind of interesting. So that's your throttle tip in, as if you're just giving it some gas right there off the bat. And uh, with that, that's about the extent of the, uh, the engine simulator for uh, doing your VTEC testing. Uh, before long, I'll be making another, uh, another video so you guys could witness the testing of the EGR for pulse width output to your boost control solenoid. All right, hope you enjoyed.